many of the features present in fish gills and the structures which exist in all vertebrate embryos evolved in the early deuterostomes and chordates. The early deuterostomes evolved a pharynx with slits. Gelatinous bars supported these slits and blood vessels ran to these slits. The first chordates evolved a more extensive circulation to these pharyngeal slits. The ventral aorta passed to aorta garches to the dorsal aorta, but this increased circulatory uh, service to these pharyngeal slits allowed them to function as gills. The earliest fish, the craniate fish, evolved cartilage, which surrounded the gill slits and became the first part of the vertebrate skull. When jawed vertebrates, the nathostomes evolved, the gills were no longer used in feeding and could be better specialized uh, for breathing. The medulla of the brain was specialized to control respiration. In the early osteichthyan fish, a swim bladder evolved, which from the beginning was also functional in air breathing. Surfactant uh, coating uh, the lining of this swim bladder evolved and the cells which lined the uh, swim bladder were of endodermal origin, as are the lungs of the tetrapods. A number of muscular mechanisms evolved which are similar to those which would later be used in breathing. Sarcopterygian fish evolved true paired lungs. The lungs possessed internal divisions and alveoli-like chambers. There was a pulmonary circuit uh, through which pulmonary arteries ran to these lungs and pulmonary veins returned to the left section of the atria. An internal narus evolved so that fish could breathe through their nose. Additional muscular mechanisms uh, evolved which later tetrapods would use in breathing. The earliest tetrapods evolved a number of changes of their respiratory systems. The lungs possessed simple squamous epithelia lining them, and collagen and smooth muscle were also important components of the lungs. Turbinates, or conchi, in the nasal cavity evolved. There was a short trachea and larynx. Cartilage surrounded the external nostrils. And a number of the cartilages of the larynx, the cricoid and a retinoid cartilages, evolved.